Winter's a little late in Montana, but it's here this morning. But you're not here for a snow report. You're here to find out what we think is the best drift boat for Southwest Montana rivers. We've been in a ton of them over the years, and I've had the opportunity to row most of the popular ones on the market. So which one do we hitch up each day? Well, we look at four things when buying a boat. Safety, stability, storage, and stealth. Narrow boats can be tippy and short on space. High-sided boats can be difficult to maneuver in the wind, and low-sided boats can take on waves and small rapids. Um, colorful boats or contrasty boats can spook rising fish, and heavy boats hit rocks and make a lot of noise. So, what's our pick for the best drift boat for Southwest Montana? Drum roll, please. The Koffler Trout Skiff. Koffler's not paying us for this review, but we love this boat. It's wide, low-sided, extremely stable for standing or sitting, has tons of storage to keep the boat from clutter, and its matte reflective finish keeps it super stealthy in the water, rather than looking up at bright white or red on black uh, fish are seeing a reflection of, of the water as the boat comes into a pool. So we think this is the best boat for Southwest Montana. It was developed right here on the Beaverhead River by Bruce Koffler and Randy Garrett. Uh, they came up with a boat design that rides high in the water, but has enough of an angle from gunnel to floor to deflect even big waves off of the boat. They created watertight dry boxes under all the seats, dog-proof rod trays, and Bruce made it look really classy, kind of like an Airstream. Um, Al Troth was one of the first guides to guide out of the trout skiff, helped make it famous, and to this day, guides including myself swear by this boat. Big Hole Lodge guides Roy Morris, Mark Thompson, Matthew Ling, my dad, uh, they all row a Koffler trout boat. And each one of their boats has a different interior design and configuration, which is one of the coolest parts about the boat. It's fully customizable. In fact, today we're headed out to Eugene, Oregon to meet with Bruce's son, Joe, at their boat yard to tweak a few things about our boat. We've had it for seven years, and I've been kicking around some ideas with little tweaks that I would make on the boat. Guys, we're at Koffler Boats in Eugene, Oregon. We made it out over some pretty rainy roads. Uh, no one ran into my boat. When we ordered the boat, we put in this big bench seat for gear. Well, great idea. Put a uh, table and chairs in here, but what we learned is we can set those table and chairs back here and avoid this issue. When you're fishing left bank, the back client turns, you know, fishing like this half the day, all of a sudden, get a crick in your back and you end up doing this thing and that's no good on the seat and then you get clients trying to stand up back here and so we're going to put that same front pedestal seat here in the back There'll be plenty of room still we're going to lock our our rod trays down so that we can keep fly rods in here while we're going down the highway and we're going to put some boat buckles on hold the boat down we're going to re-rivet the floor and we're going to pop a new logo on it Big Hole Lodge has a new logo Brickhouse Creative designed us, and actually Koffler has a new logo. Uh, so we're gonna acid wash the side of the boat, get it all nice and shiny and looking like an Airstream again, and we'll pop the new logos on and uh, check back in in a few days.
folks, we'd love to hear from you in the comments. What do you look for in a boat? And if you haven't tried a Koffler, we suggest you look into it. Click subscribe, stay tuned. We're gonna do a raft review next. We upgraded our raft this year and we're really excited about it, especially the frame. Take care.